Block 1. Cable Preparation Cable Preparation, Pencil and Jacketing Removal Prepare the cable taking into account the appropriate distances. Pencil the outer jacket carefully, avoiding any internal damage of the power conductors. Clean up the outer cable jacket and remove it at the proper length. Use the right tools for this purpose. Block 2. Internal splice, power conductors, grounds and monitor. Remove monitor and ground cables using ply-tough vinyl tape and fix them on the back. Cut the conductors to the appropriate length. Remove the conductor insulation and use the appropriate parallel connector. The Plymouth Mining Connector Kits are recommended. Crimp the connector of each conductor cable, ensuring the same tension as a whole. Apply several layers of ply-tough PVC tape over the phase connector. Apply several layers of linerless L969 rubber tape to rebuild the insulation layer of the conductor cable. Splice the monitor and ground conductors, making sure they're placed in the valley between the two power conductors as originally seated. Follow the technical instructions included in the Plymouth Mining Kit. Block 3. Insulating and Jacketing Repair Clean and prepare the jacket using the solvent wipe and the sandpaper included in the Plymouth Mining Kit. Alternatively, a rasp can be used. Build the cable assembly with Plymouth rubber mastic tape or alternatively using linerless L969 rubber tape. Stretch and overlap the tape according to Plymouth rubber recommendations. Apply Plymouth GLF2 jacketing tape to build up the cable jacket. Overlap at 50% to achieve superior sealing and ideal mechanical protection. Finish the splice using ply tough at both ends to achieve a smooth surface between the original jacket and the GLF2 jacketing tape. The splice is now finished and the cable is ready for operation.